Hey guys, Brian Noseni here. Uh, we got another box of Legends here. Uh, English Legends. That uh, I'm going to be opening. Um, I think I'm about 60 some percent through my BGS Legends set. Looking for some upgrades, looking for a bunch of rares. Um, and quite a few uncommons still. Uh, last box was amazing. We got uh, 14 BGS 10s. One was a rare. Three uncommons and ten commons. Um, and a bunch of uh, cards with uh, two ten subs and two nine five subs. Um, one being Caracas, one being Fallen Angel. A couple of rares. Uh, I think Hell's Caretaker. Uh, might be the wrong name. Something Hell's. I can't remember. Anyway, we're going to break this box. Um, main reason why I'm breaking this one, uh, I have three. This one has a little bit of damage, if you guys can see right here. And uh, that's the main reason why I'm going to break this one. Um, and you guys will see me open the packs, and uh, I'll put them out here. And, uh, you know, anything valuable I'm going to put in a uh, penny sleeve. Because that's how BGS likes their cards being submitted to them. So that's what I'm going to do. So here we go. Legends box number two. Hopefully it's as good as the last one. Uh, hoping is it, this is a uncommon list A instead of B this time. But either one will be fine with. These fresh Manti packs. First pack. Now, I know a lot of people like uh, saving packs. I don't like damaging my cards, so I cut open the tops of the packs and slide them out. So here we go, pack one. I'm gonna flip these guys around so you guys can see them as they come out. And we'll do the rare list. So, any crazy commons? I don't think, I think there's any crazy commons in this set. Oh, it comes in cobalt, that's kind of nice. Uncommons. Quagmire. Oh, Caracas, so this is a B list. So, uh, not ideal, but uh, last time I got four or five Caracas in a, in a B list box. So I'm not going to complain. And that Quagmire actually looks a heck of a lot nicer than the other ones that I pulled. So that's alright. Life Matrix. Pretty terrible card. Money card in this pack is Caracas, obviously. But uh, we'll sleeve these guys up. Pack number two. Now you guys can see that, uh, I don't know if you guys know, but Legends has a lot of uh, centering issues and printer dot issues. I don't know how good you guys can see, but there's a little printer dot issue on the back of this card. Syria. So that's our rare in this pack. Uh, these boxes are getting pretty expensive these days. Um, I think they're in the 5k area at this point. I know packs are about 120 to 130 dollars a piece these days.
you guys can see this card's really off center, top to bottom. Eureka, that's a good one. Centering's not great on it, but uh, that should easily be a nine. Printer dot. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out the best centered commons, uh, anything that looks really minty, and just send it in. Uh, this card at last time actually got a, a BGS ten. Uh, besides a tiny printer dot on the back, it probably would have got all tens. So big cards in these boxes, uh, we'll be looking for Tabernacle, Moat, uh, Chains, Mephistopheles, Nether Void, and oh, what's the other black card? The Abyss. Those are the big heavy hitting cards. Um, Caracas is going to be the only money uncommon. This card, another printer dot here. Um, Correct, this is going to be the only uncommon. That's going to be any, you know, considerable amount of money in these in this box. Fort Lady Orca. Major problem with all these cards is the uh, centering on a lot of them. I mean, these guys are pretty off-center, so these are going to be ungradable, unfortunately. Uh, it's probably going to be this way through most of the box. Hopefully, a lot of these rares will be well-centered. We're up to pack six now. Rathy Berserker, and Wall of Wonder. I mean, this card is probably going to end up getting an overall 8, just because how off-center this guy is. I'm not sure if you guys can see it or not, but it's really off-center. Um, and if you ever build a Legends BGS Legends set, don't put a Rathy Berserker on your Legends registry. It will screw it up really bad, and you will not be able to view, and actually, people will not be able to view your cards. For some reason, they uh, haven't figured out the problem with that yet. Oop. Pull this one out backwards. Sure did. I saw the rare. But, eh. You guys might have as well, but it's alright. Probably send in a decent amount of these commons just to try and hit tens. This box is probably not going to be a good one. The uh, centering on the rare seems to be a bit off, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. It might get better as we go further in. At least I hope. That is a terrible rare. <laughs> All these rares seem to be off on the bottom. 
right to left. For some reason I thought that it was uncommon. What do we got here? Kazmar. Backfire. And Ghost. I think... That's weird. I thought Ghost was, unco was common. I thought Jedi was uncommon. Eh, could be wrong. Yep. That's, that's a big printer dot on this rare. Thankfully, it's not a big money rare, so. Probably won't send that one in. This box is looking pretty terrible at this point in time, uh, besides the Eureka and the one Caracas. But hopefully, things will get better. Try and go a little faster. I want to take up everybody's time. Video. Probably just gonna skip the the commons and, and go straight for the uh, the uncommons and rares. This card for some reason is always off center. Um, the last box that I opened, it was pretty far off center too. It's gonna be a tough one if you're going for a nice BGS set. Skip all those guys now. We have. So, this was another one of the cards that I got a BGS 10 of last time. Sending on this one's not terrible. I'll probably send this one in. It's really nice. I mean, obviously, it's packed fresh. Centering is your downfall on Arabian Nights cards. Actually, anything from Alpha until Legends, I'd say. I mean, they can be really, really off. Like I said, we're going to skip the comments. There's nothing special there. Got an Urborg, Beast of Bulgarn, and an I. Worms by Gore. Abyss. Nice. That's awesome. Recoup a little bit. Uh, this one's not centered great, so I might not even send it in. Still, nice card. Another printer dot card. Uh, common, thankfully. Nothing special there. It's alright. Nova Pentacle. Nothing good. <laughs> kind of expected. I think what I need for this set. Uh, I think there's a couple cards I like to upgrade, but uh, nothing crazy. Add an oak shield would be nice. Hammerheim. Typhoon. Not a great card, but this one's. This one's really well centered, so that one will more than likely go in, even though I already have one. I 
after opening this box, I will probably not open another Legends box. There's really no need. I have most of the cards for my set. Mainly, pro I will probably be missing mostly uncommons from an A-list at this point. It's a reset. There's a good card. Let's leave that guy up. A little off-center, but still a reset. Triassic egg. That's all of about two bucks. Card's terrible. Yeah, it's it's comical when the uh, uncommons are more valuable than the uh, the rares, but uh, this is not the first set that that uh, that has happened with. Rubina. Mm, centering's not bad on this guy. Well, this lady. Uh, we'll probably go in. Need some money cards. Need some money cards. Jasmine. Shout out to Greg, who owns the original Jasmine. Stang. Shout out to Nick Detweiler for making this possible. Putty Nelson, who's always looking for cards for me. Calvin Hodges, fun guy to talk to. If you never talk to him, you should uh, definitely talk to him. Good guy. If he likes you. Uh, it's kind of the same for me, too. <laughs> this is awesome. I love the art on this card. I don't know why, but I love the art on this guy. Got one of those BGS 10 last time as well. This is uh, one of my favorite cards. So it uh, brings back my childhood. Open this guy up in Chronicles. Yes, Chronicles. I started in Ice Age, guys. Wish I started uh, a little bit sooner than that, but uh, didn't happen. Probably wouldn't have been able to get the cards I wanted anyway. Oh, Prejudice. Nice. He's uh, went up quite a bit uh, as of last time I opened the box. This one centering's got some issues, but this is a nice card. Good looking card. Hoping for a moat. Maybe a... Uh, Tabernacle would be awesome. A couple more cracks, this would be nice. Another reset. This one's off center too. Yeah, I think this whole box is going to be off center, which. Not. Not the best thing in the world. Oh, there we go. Mo. Off center a little bit, top to bottom, but other than that, good looking card. Yeah, this should get a 9.5. I mean, this card's stunning, except for centering.
Hopefully it'll get a 9 on centering. It's kind of a pain in the butt for me to get. Cause they're almost always off center. This one's off center, unfortunately. Hey, they're spawn. They're elder spawn. Sorry. Yeah, this card's not so hot. Mung's not here to help commentary, so uh, that might be a little boring. Yeah, shout out to Mung, he's a good guy. Good guy, he helped me make the last video. Help me with sleeving. Living plane. This card was uh, more valuable than I thought it was. I think this is, these are about the 60 bucks, I wanna say, for some reason. Probably use an EDH or something. Maybe it's 40 bucks. I can't remember. It's been a while since I looked at Legends cards. But nobody's getting them graded, so that's why we're opening this box. Caracas! Nice! Jasmine in a toll area. That's a solid looking Caracas. Man, a little off center. Left to right and top to bottom. And it's got tiny printer dot on the edge. Unfortunate. Killer Bees. This is actually a very, very hard card to find with good centering. And oddly enough, this one has really good centering. That should be a 9.5, no doubt. It's got a tiny little white dot up there. It'll get probably a 9.5 on surface because of that. Yeah, it's kind of funny how I get excited over crappy rares that have good centering. Got one that's trying to stay in the pack here. This card, I don't know why. Ugh, oh, worst card in a set ever. I'm not even sleeping that. It's not worth it. Oh, thank you guys. Some of you, um, most of you probably know, um, I think it was up until the dark, you could actually search packs. So if you buy packs, buy them from reputable places, otherwise they've probably been searched. So don't buy alpha, beta packs, um, unless you know they're coming from a legit source. Um, like I have three beta packs that I bought from a legitimate source. So I'm not concerned about them. Um, but usually I do not buy old packs. Just buy a box. I know a lot of people can't afford a box. Um, you know, it's boxes, old boxes are getting very expensive. So I, I can understand it.
chain lightning. Actually, there is a common that's worth worth noting, and it's chain lightning. Uh, like an idiot, I forgot. Oh, another Caracas. That makes three. Makes me feel a little bit better about this box. It's actually a nice one, too. Probably get a 9.5. I'm not sure how many people care, but... Actually, I don't have a playset that's ungraded at this point. Cleanse. Not a high dollar card, um, but it's a good looking one, so I'll probably send that one in to get graded as well. Every once in a while, you'll get one card out of a box that's, you know, got a nick in the corner. Um, it really sucks. Uh, last time I got a spiritual sanctuary that was better centered than the one that uh, pulled in this box. Um, but yeah, it, uh, it had a big chip in the bottom corner. So it is possible to get some messed up cards. In the Eye of Chaos. That's not a bad card. Surprised people don't use this more in EDH. This one's pretty nice. I'll probably send that one in to get created just for giggles. Down to the last row in the box. Like I said, this will more than likely be the last Legends box. That I opened. Uh, there's no need to toss money down the drain unless we crack like some really good rares in these, this last pile here, which I kind of doubt, but you never know. Abomination. This one's actually tough to find centered as well. Got lucky and got one out of a set that somebody was breaking up. Recall another crappy card. Top to bottom centering on this box has been an issue. Like I said, guys, you gotta be careful with Legends. Legends has very, very bad centering issues. Antiquities does too. I was actually contemplating opening an Antiquities box, but decided against it considering they are much, much more difficult to find and a little bit more expensive than uh, Legends boxes. Gordon Crossroads. This was actually my first BGS 10 card. Well, one of one of two. But uh, Concordant Crossroads and Power Artifact from the same person. Some of these weird lands are hard to get to, very well centered. Storm Seeker's a pain in the butt to get centered, as you can see. Well, you might not be able to see, but this one's probably 70 30. Fallen Star. Ugh, terrible cards. Such a bad box. But th this is kind of the norm for Legends. The last box that I opened was ridiculous. Um. Last box was a Tabernacle, Chains, Abyss. I mean, the, the Tabernacle came back all 9-5 subs, which I was very, very happy with. Um, the Chains came back a 9-5 as well, but didn't have all 9-5 subs. Um, the centering on the, the Chains got a, a 9, and uh, I think the Surface got a 10. Oh, and the Abyss got all 9.5s. 
Nothing crazy here. Marble Priest, Delaria, Lady of the Mountain. I think this is an EDH card. Ooh, centering on it's pretty rough. It's kind of twisted in the frames, which happens for some of these Legends, Legends cards. Uh, happened on a lot of the uncommons I got last time. It's unfortunate, a lot of these cards I already have. Crawl Giant, one of my favorite cards back when I first started. Yeah, I know, it's terrible, but uh, when you start in an Ice Age, you don't uh, you don't argue with much. Big, <laughs> big creatures is kind of what you live off of when you first start. Spinal Vivian. Pretty good card, actually. Yeah, it's abilities. Pretty awesome. Destroy a blue card by tapping it. All right, tap Spinal Villain and uh, kill a blue card. Blue creature. I'm surprised people don't play that a little bit more, I like EDH and stuff. Oh, another Caracas. Awesome. Nice. Uh, where are the sleeves at? So this is what, number four? I'm not going to argue with that. Caracas, I think, is about a hundred bucks these days. The funny thing about this card is, it may be terrible, but for some god-awful reason, I love the art on this. If anybody knows where the original art is for this, please tell me. I would love to acquire this for some ungodly reason. I don't know why, but I just like it. I like it a lot. This one I'll probably send in to get graded. It's a little twisted, but uh, I don't know. I just like the card. Urge Rago. If we get lucky, get a Dak and Black Blade in one of these last three packs. One of the rares I'm missing. This is kind of like a mirror image of the last box I got, except it's missing chains and tabernacle, which is kind of a big deal. Ooh, stop sliding all over. Wow, well, I'm gonna have to look at this this quagmire because this one's actually centered really well except for top to bottom left to right it's damn near spot on yeah that that i'm probably gonna send in you know it, it's some of these crappy uncommons that make or break your set firestorm phoenix i need this one as well uh Pretty happy about this one too. It looks centered fairly well. I mean, the card is. I mean, obviously, it's packed fresh. It just came out of the pack. No printer dots. Good looking card. Good looking card. Hopefully, that does well. It's one of those pain in the butt cards that. I don't know if there's any 9 fives of that card. I haven't really kept up with the Legends Population Report, but uh, there's a handful of crappy cards um, that don't have 9-5. And one of the glyphs, I can't remember which one, I want to say the, the black glyph, Glyph of Destruction, I think it's called. Um, I don't think there's any 9-5s in the Population Report for that one because it has printer dot issues. And like Wall of Wonder, I don't think there's any 9.5s of that just because it has so many centering issues.
Nebuchadnezzar. Pretty sure people. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe might, people might use this in EDH. I remember fooling this guy in Chronicles back when I was young and had no money. Last pack here, guys. Bear with me. I know it's been a rough ride so far. Maybe we'll crack something really cool in this one. Sorry, I had to peek. This is going to be a let down, but <laughs> here it is. Kobold, Kobold Overlord. That's in really good shape, too. Um, obviously, that's kind of a given. But centering centering is really good on this card. So uh, we're going to send this guy in. There's probably about, I'll probably get 50 or so cards. I have to look through the uncommons. Um, well, tons and tons of these cards are off center, which is normal for legends. This is the main reason why I didn't crack an antiquities box. Um, you know, it's major centering issues throughout both of those sets. And, uh, yeah, I will let you guys know what I get. Uh, I should probably should have pulled out some of the BGS 10s that I got back, but, uh, There's really not a whole lot of stuff that I have at my fingertips right now. That's really cool. Um, hmm. Well, here's some extras that I have right now. Um, these are these are betas. Lotus. This is not extra. Don't ask. Fast bond in here somewhere. Fast bond. That's not extra. cards in here. These are all betas, so it's kind of, eh. I mean, they're, they're still tough cards to get, don't get me wrong. Especially in 10. 10s are ridiculous. Uh, anything else that's in arm's reach? Uh, so we'll get these betas out of here. Prices on this stuff have just gone insane lately. Uh, I think a BGS 9 Beta Pearl just sold for on eBay for like $2,600. It's ridiculous. But here's Alpha Junk. A really pretty Bayou. Uh, this Clockwork Beast is one of two currently. That card's actually really hard to get without printer dots. Put some of these back before I get them all out of order. Oh, yeah, Uncle Meshra. That's uh, currently one of two nine fives. You guys probably don't care. Got a fast bond. I'm trying to think what other cards that I have here that might be of interest to people. Ah, those, will, those will be of interest to people.
Am I missing one? Oh yeah, I'm a pro right now. Uh, there's an emerald, jet, a ruby, and a sapphire. Uh, currently, there's only one nine five of each of these. That's why I don't have them. They are quite expensive, and the one person that has the jet doesn't want to sell it. And I have no idea who has a sapphire. So if you guys can find me, the person that has a sapphire, I would love to know. Um, there's also one emerald. This is a BGS 10. And I know who owns that, and I congratulate him for that. Let's see anything else in here. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Let me just put these back. Too many graded cards. Uh, I don't even remember how many graded cards I have. Um, some nostalgic people might like this. Uh, All 95 Royal. This is one of two 95 Shivens. Got a Time Twister. My walk is over here. Uh, it's a 9 Time Vault. There's only one 95, so. Uh, Beggars can't be choosers. We got a trop. This is the best graded C, as far as I'm aware of at this point in time. Two ten subs, a nine on centering, and a nine five corners. Here is the only nine five graded Viduran Enchantress. I think this is one of two webs. Uh, I can't remember. This was the first one graded, and I think one just popped up in the population report recently. But yeah, that's uh, that's kind of my set in a nutshell. And uh, I hope you guys liked it. Um, and like I said, I will let you guys know what these cards come back. These legends cards come back graded, and. Uh, Wish me luck. I'm probably going to need it. So, uh, uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, yeah, good luck building sets out there. If you guys decide to do BGS sets, set your goals, and uh, you know, build build what you want. If you want something that is a nine set, go with nines. Uh, if you're trying to build a nine plus legend set, please let me know. I have tons of extras. Uh, kind of looking just to get my money back out of them at this point but uh now i wish you guys the best of luck out there with uh with uh, you know you're pimping out your decks and stuff like that or even building decks so you know certain people have problems building certain decks but uh yeah best of luck to you guys and uh hit me up shoot me some some messages in the comments this is obviously you guys could see me open the packs this time last time you couldn't and uh because i finally got a camera stand but uh yeah. That's it. Thanks, guys.